Hello, and thanks for your continued support. Do you need a miracle in your life, business, health, or relationships? In today's post, I'm going to discuss the connection between intention, attention, and miracles. The point I'll make is that each and every one of us has the ability to create miracles on a regular basis. <laughs> we just need to learn how to go about it. The Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary defines miracle as an extraordinary event manifesting divine intervention in human affairs. Wikipedia describes divine intervention as a term for miracle perceived to be caused by a deity's active involvement in the human world. Therefore, a miracle is an easily perceived extraordinary event caused by a relationship between man and God. The term attention is defined as applying our mind to something. The term intention is defined as resolve or determination to act in a certain way. You know what? At this point, I believe we've got all the ingredients necessary to create our own miracle. However, according to our definition, in order to do this, we don't go outside of ourselves, but within. But we first must understand that in order for God to help us, the desired outcome must be beneficial for everyone involved and not self-serving. Then we must go to meet God on his turf or in the spiritual realm. Next, we focus our attention on the problem we need solved or the miracle we need to, we need to take place as we bring it into God's presence. This is where our intention or resolve comes into play. You know, since the miracle may take time to manifest itself in the physical world, we have to act in a manner as if it's already been accomplished. Also, we mustn't try to orchestrate the steps necessary for the miracle to occur. That's God's job. We just have to trust in the end result. In my book, The Three R's of Spiritual Growth, I discuss the fact that each and every one of us is a little C creator while God is the capital C creator. There's also a section where I discuss how to co-create our life with God. You know, that's when life really starts to be fun. The beauty of this approach is that it's not dependent upon external resources or people in order for the miracle to occur. We'll find all things will be brought to us in proper order and on a timely basis as we watch this miracle unfold in our life. The only thing we need to begin this journey is faith in the process I've described and faith in our God. <laughs> Don't buy into the worldly way of thinking that we have to have this or we have to have that in order for things to get better for us. Our age doesn't matter. The color of our skin doesn't matter. Our financial situation doesn't matter. Our health doesn't matter. Faith is enough. Remember, our earlier definition infers that all we need for a miracle to take place in our life is man and God. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this post. And until next time, here's hoping that you live today and every day passionately and with purpose. Thank you and God bless.